welcome to, I think it's my second exhibition. It's an exhibition with a difference because someone else is heavily involved. Uh, however, the exhibition of two painters is two painters' work, my work, and Melissa Bognudis, who I've known for probably eight to nine years now. Uh, we paint very differently, but I've always thought that the two types of painting would go very well with each other. Uh, these four here by Mel, I think, uh, characterise her work strongly. Mel's themes are often the noble horse. She adores horses, particularly one or two breeds. Uh, her palette is very, very cool. She loves the cooler colours. And yet, what struck me the first time I saw them was her handling of the paint. She's, she almost immerses herself in the paint and creates a very tactile surface. The horse in nature, these things almost tie quite strongly to some of the things I look at. My most recent work are the four larger, I don't know what to call them, but I thought I coined, coined the phrase colour block paintings. But it turns out that's been around since the 1930s. Uh, I have no idea why they happened. But as usual in my work, there's natural themes, the night, the beauty of the night, uh, legends, uh, the legend of Selene, the moon, and creating her daughter. Uh, sometimes I'll try and paint a, a dream I had, which is this one. Uh, the dragon piece comes from what I thought was a story told to me by my dad's father. Uh, this group of three here, uh, one of the things that fascinates me is that we live in a living world. We all live in society, and yet we still completely live in the natural world. Uh, I use some of my life drawings from the past, uh, looking at states of mind and consciousness. Uh, I don't know how the technique happened, but it just simply did. Sometimes the paint takes over. I started life drawing at the Aragon so many years ago that I hate to think of it. Uh, I used to wonder when I started why, why draw the human form? Why not draw horses or cows or dogs? But I discovered that we bring to our study of the form all, all our own feelings about things and that affects the way you see and appreciate the form. So life drawing teaches you to be independent of that and to see, as an artist sometimes needs to see. Uh, yes, strongly recommend it for everybody. Uh, both Mel and I mostly work in oil paints. Uh, Mel does quite a few watercolours, however, and some acrylics. Uh, these small watercolour studies by her, I think, are well worth examining. I do hope people enjoy the exhibition and can find their way to Gindavik. Uh, it's on for the next month, the month of May. Thank you.